Hey, what's up, guys? If you're interested in becoming a flight medic and want to see what it's like to check out a rescue helicopter in the morning, stick around and follow me today, and we'll see just that. Let's do it. So the first thing we do in the morning is connect the aircraft to the GPU or ground power unit. Turn the ground power unit on and then get power to the ship and turn the ship on. Wait for the aircraft to boot up. And the next thing we're gonna do is give power to the hoist. That's the first thing I check. I'm gonna get my helmet out of the way here. And I'm going to put my talon or strap that I use uh, to not fall out of the aircraft away and get it out of the way. All right, then I'm gonna turn the hoist light on and I'm gonna check the cable cut on my side, the pilot side, and the co-pilot side to make sure that the messages are popping up on the screen. All right, then I'm gonna take the pendant and I'm gonna extend the hoist arm and bring down the hook and the cable to inspect the hook and cable and make sure that everything is moving freely. Then I'm gonna take the commander's override and make sure that the commander has access. Then I'm gonna check the searchlight, make sure that my searchlight, which I control in the back, is working properly as it is here. All right, now I'll stow the hook once and for all and put the hoist arm back where it goes. At this point, I turn on the Zool, the ventilator and make my way around to the other side of the aircraft and start up the FLIR, which takes a little bit to boot up. So while that's booting up, I'll go into the tail boom and check everything that we have in here. In the tail, we have our fall arrest system, which is in our red Husky bag. So I'll take that out, make sure that everything that's supposed to be there is there, that the fall arrest system looks good, the beaners are there, the tools, the uh, weight, and the flashlights are all working. Once I've made sure everything's okay, I will put the fall arrest back in the bag and then go and check the rest of the rescue devices. Then check the Lucas device, which we will use in case we go somewhere by ourselves and we're not picking up from a ground unit. Once that's checked out, make sure the batteries are working and the Lucas is working properly. We'll pack it back up and put it back in the tail boom and continue on with our morning checkout. So once that's stowed back and I've placed everything back where it goes and made sure that everything is cinched down and tethered as is supposed to be in the aircraft, I'm gonna close that door and move on to the inside compartment. On the inside we have three drawers with things that we readily need access to. The difference between this aircraft and the one that we had before was we have less storage space in this one. So we had to use a bag, which is the bag that we lower with, which you'll see in a little bit. So I check all the compartments, make sure we have all the airway stuff, BBMs, have plenty of gloves of different sizes and trauma sleeves. I make sure that our marine band ICOM radio is working and the PLB is in place. 
Then I'm going to check my massive hemorrhage kit that we have as an extra. And then we're going to check out our stat pack. Now this bag, like I said before, houses pretty much everything that we need to be in helicopter EMS platform and we send the rescuer down with this or I'll send the rescuer down and then I'll send the bag if he calls for it inside the bag there's four smaller bags with airway medications IV and a miscellaneous bag we also have sea collars and things of that nature, as well as suction, MPAs, OPAs, all that in the bag. The bag is rather large, and we're actually looking at getting something smaller for, for rescue missions, but that's what we got right now. Then I'm gonna make sure everything in the alley is the way it's supposed to be, that we have the tethers, and now I'm gonna check out my other massive bleed kit, where we have our AAJTS, abdominal and junctional tourniquet, as seen here, wound packing supplies, chest seals, needle decompression, lots of bandages, make sure everything's in place, make sure I got a BP cuff in there, which I'll send to my partner when I lower him down, more tourniquets and gloves. Set that back up and put the bag back in place. Check my portable ETCO2. and then we will move on. All right, now we'll come check the FLIR now that it's warmed up. And I'll make sure that all the different cameras on the FLIR are working. And that I'm able to track vehicles. Like I'd be able to track patients on the ground if we're looking for a boat, etc. Once that looks good, I'm gonna make a test call using our satellite phone to my phone. This has been priceless with reaching out to patients on the ground or people lost hikers, people on boats, things of that nature. Once I verify the call went through, I'm gonna make all my radio checks with dispatch. I'm gonna call all the hospitals that we normally transport to and get a radio check from all of them. And that pretty much concludes our morning checkout. And thanks for watching.